Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you that are new, I'm Amy. Um, today I'm going to do something a little different. We're going to do some dinner, dessert, um, kind of what I do in the evenings. Um, tonight is taco night, so we're going to start with getting my rice started, and then while that's cooking, we'll make some, um, they're called like energy peanut butter balls. It's like peanut butter, oatmeal, um, chocolate chips and honey. It's really quick, really simple, but it's very good. So to get started, I'm going to start with my rice. We use brown rice. And I've got my containers here. Get this open. And then I'm going to touch it down so we can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to do one cup of this. See if I can do it without making it. Yeah, I can do that. I guess I'm sweeping up the floor. I'm racing my shoe. I'm going to put that in my pan. And just two cups of water, or enough to cover your rice. Right. And then I cover my pan. And we're going to set this to low. And then while that's getting started, I found this recipe on Pinterest. And it's just so easy. And everybody in my house loves it. And it is three cups of rolled oats. And I've got my big container here. One, three. One cup of peanut butter. And I just use creamy peanut butter. Um, you can use chunky. It's kind of whatever you like. And this is something you can probably put just about anything you wanted to in it. Peanut butter everywhere. So that's half a cup of peanut of uh, chocolate chips. Um this is also something optional. You could put nuts, um, fruit if you wanted, even I think would be good. those in and then a half a cup of honey I'm 
And you hear my dog flitter clattering around under here behind me because he thinks he's going to get something. I need to get more honey. And the honey just helps it stick together and sweetens it. And it is delicious. You get down to the bottom and it just doesn't want to come out. Okay. It's approximately half a cup-ish. I tend to make a giant mess. And then I'm just going to mix this all together. Once we get this all mixed together, we are going to roll this into balls. And then we are going to put it in an airtight container. That one is going to be for my tomatoes. We're going to start working on some more of that stuff here in a minute. But this big one is going to be for our balls. We're just going to roll them all into little balls and we're going to put them in the container and put them in the fridge to, to chill. You'll want to store them that way as well. Because with the peanut butter and the honey, it'll get really soft and mushy and be like this. We want it to stay in balls, so keeping it in the fridge helps it to stay that way. So, and I just got this glass container. It is a seven cups container. I'm just wanting to make sure I got this all mixed in off the bottom. And then you just make them however big or small you want. Just like that. And you got you a little energy ball. I'm gonna go ahead and get these finished up and I will be back in just a few minutes. I can get it to pause. Okay, and this is what they'll look like. They'll be little balls. We're gonna wanna seal these up. Oh, we're gonna keep those in our fridge. And then I'm waiting when the rice gets close to done and um, but still boiling. I will add tomatoes and uh, some diced tomatoes. Uh, just one can with all the juice. Um, I'll then add a can of drink black beans, but I'll show you all that. But I want to start, we're going to go ahead and get some other prep done. Dice up my tomato. Cut the little end off. I don't want to keep that. Peanut butter everywhere. You 
and we're just cutting it. This is the easiest way I found to dice tomatoes for like salads or like uh, for our tacos tonight. And it's still not super easy because then it gets so squishy. This is one thing I hate trying to cut up or dice up. It just always seems so hard to get done. If anybody has any easier ways of doing it, please leave something in the comments. Let me know. Because I feel like I'm more mutilating this poor tomato than anything most of the time. I'm just cutting out the core here. I don't want that really hard piece that's in the very middle. I'm just going to finish this up. And I already bought, so I went ahead and bought just regular shredded lettuce at this store. Normally I'd do it myself. Um, But for us busy moms, a shortcut here and there does not hurt. My rice is coming along nicely. You know, probably just kind of fast forward through this because nobody wants to watch me just sit here and dice tomatoes. That's okay. Maybe you do. Oh. No, sir, Mr. Scoob. cleaned up. I'll put a lid on this. This will go up there. Don't want anybody cut. Fresh towel. This will go in the fridge. We'll go ahead and get our lettuce into a container so that's all ready for the table. That's all ready to go on the table. 
All right, let's see how our race is doing. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna let this cook for a little bit and I will be back when we're ready to go on with the rest of it. Okay, as you can see, most of the liquid is pretty much absorbed now at this point. So I'm going to add one can diced tomatoes, two cans of the mini tomato sauces. I shop, I do most of my shopping at Aldi. Um, so, and that's just the way that our tomato sauce comes in these little cans. So, and then I want to do a couple tablespoons of, uh, Tones taco seasoning. I get this at Sam's Club. And I'm going to use the taco seasoning again for my taco meat, but we're just going to mix this all together. And we're going to let that cook for a little while. And this will cook down and be the consistency of regular rice. I know it's hard to tell right now. You just kind of have to let cook and let the rice, because the rice isn't completely cooked yet. Um, so this will like let it absorb all of the, the liquid this way, leave it on low. Once that's done, I will add my can of black beans. Um, so until then, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and start on my meat, nothing exciting there. But I will be back to show you the rest of my sides. Okay, so I went ahead, added the beans. This is what our rice is looking like. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, looking like ground. My dog just got the spilt onion. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the lid off that for a while. I've got my hamburger brand. I'm going to go ahead and add a quarter of a cup of the taco seasoning. And then it's two thirds cup water. And that in there. And we'll let that all get mixed in good. Get that nicely. Try to make sure the whole, all of the beef is covered. And I, we get the 80 20. Um, and I buy it in the big rolls of hamburger at Sam's Club. And then I just separate it and then I roll it into flat squares in um, freezer bags. It works, what, that's what works best for us. That would be my coffee pot turning off. It's been on for two hours. So we're gonna let that cook down. And then we're gonna do the easiest side I make and actually, my family likes to put it on their tacos. I'm taking just a can of refried beans. Yes, the can is a little dented. I did that, I dropped it in the store. Um, but we're just gonna take that into a pan. If we can get it out. Start to heat, I'm going to put that again on low. I cook just about everything on low. 
is the gas stove, and that's what I find works for me. Because once it heats, it'll start to smush together better. So, stay tuned for my next video. We're going to do a cleanup of this aftermath. Because for some reason, when making tacos, I end up with it everywhere. So just stay tuned, um, and I'll show you everything when it's done. And I'll finish showing you what we do with these refried beans, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we've got that going. As it gets warmer, it's way better to work with. But I'm just going to take some cheese here. And it's just the oldie, they call it Mexican style. I don't know. We like it. So I'm going to take a Decent size mount here. And we're going to work it into the cheese. We'll work that together. Hopefully, without making too big of a mess all over my stove. I'm just going to let that heat until the cheese melts. I know it looks like a lot of work, but it is so very worth it. My family loves it, so we're going to let that heat. Uh, once that's all melted, I will put our tacos together, so I'll be right back to show you that. Okay, now that I've got all of that stuff done, we are going to make up a taco. And I have these, they're just the Mission Soft uh, Tortillas. Because my family likes soft tacos. I don't like that they stick together. Let's see if I can get at least one taco out of this madness. Okay. And then I'm going to take. Just a little bit of the cheesy refried beans. Put that down. And I just put a lid on things to keep it nice and warm. I'm gonna do a little bit of meat. And this will be for my daughter. But we'll get her plate all made up. Tomato, this sour cream is almost gone, but I just wanted to finish it up. I do have another container in the fridge. Okay. 
and she likes the mild salsa, so that's what we're going to use. It is still kind of runny, but it, it does get pretty thick, and I like the rice. And there is taco night. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you want to see more like this. And I'll see you on the next one.